we are conducting a webinar for charity i am happy to announce that more than 5000 people have already registered and we have room to take another 5000 people if you are not if you have not registered click on the link in the description and if you want to know more details about the webinar you can check this video hi this is pr sundar today morning i tweeted with a catchy title and many of you must have been shocked to read the title even first time when i heard i was also shocked but let me explain in this video as a layman point of view i am asking you a very simple question once upon a time we had cathode ray tube based black and white televisions then the technology improved crt based color television came and nobody bought the black and white television the technology further improved lcd televisions came then nobody using the crt televisions after that further the technology improved and more thinner led televisions came and nowadays nobody is using lcd televisions what does this mean you are using a product today and tomorrow if there is an improved product comes so then today's product become obsolete and then nobody is using it so that is the rule of the nature but now come to the stock market if there is one technical analysis is good and everybody must be following that technical analysis but is there any only one technical analysis in stock market no somebody talk relative strength index somebody call average directional interview somebody call dow theory somebody call fibonacci retracement so there are hundreds and hundreds of technical analysis are there as a layman point of view i can conclude only two things if there are 100 technical analysis is surviving either all the 100 must be correct or all the 100 must be wrong if something wrong something right then the wrong one would have died by this time only the right one would have survived so it is very simple to conclude either all of them are right or all of them are wrong but you and me know 100% that all of them are not right if all of them are right and all the people who are following the technical analysis should be making a good profit but we are not seeing that now let me tell you something interesting on this front so today's title is technical analysis is useless there was a professor i think in princeton university america his name is burton malkai and he has written a book called a random walk down the wall street and what he says a blindfolded monkey throwing darts at a newspaper's financial pages could select a portfolio that would do just as well as one carefully selected by the experts and you see the statement looking very very shocking a professor from a reputed university says that if a monkey chooses a portfolio and a stock market expert chooses a portfolio and there is every possibility they both will be same then why there is a necessity of an expert okay we can say that this is the opinion of an individual but what has happened wall street journal has taken this statement very seriously they wanted to test it out but you really cannot go and get the monkeys to play the dartboard so what they have done they have selected few very good technical analysts and very few fundamental analysts and asked them to construct a portfolio in fact they even asked the readers 
to construct a portfolio and then they have chosen some people working in their organization who do not know anything about the stock market and blindfolded them and asked them to throw dartboard so this game was going on for almost 10 years every few months the non performing experts were taken out and some new experts were brought in so and the and this uh, test continued for nearly 10 years let us see what happened uh, the results so this has happened in 1998 wall street journal decided to see his theory is correct and created a dot board contest the contest was running for about 10 years so the results were as follows experts beat the dart by 6139 and experts beat dow jones industrial average return by 5149 so what does it mean 61% of the time the experts were outperforming and 39% of the time dot board was outperforming though 61% of the time experts were outperforming what is the return generated by these experts compared to the return generated by the average index the dow jones industrial average index so 49% of the time their returns were less than the dow jones industrial average return only 51% of the time they have got better return so the author's argument is that you do not believe in experts if at all you want to invest just invest in indices not in individual stocks now here we have seen the comparison then the next question comes is it better to invest in stocks or indices and very soon i will be coming out with a video with full explanation no matter how expert you are you will not be able to beat the return of the averages that is the index but though 61% of the time experts won 51% of the time they have got better return than the dow jones average index there are certain drawbacks in this contest if an expert is coming to a public domain and he says i am buying the shares many retail people tend to follow them and they will also buy and that artificially increases the stock price so that is called the announcement effect second one in a dart board when you throw the dart it picks the stocks randomly whereas experts tend to pick the high risk stocks when you pick high risk stocks when the times are good they are likely to outperform and the third most interesting thing once the contest ended the stock market experts stocks did not perform well whereas the dot board stocks continue to perform well over a longer period of time so if you factor in all these things really monkeys seems to be winning and stock market experts seems to be losing and this has happened about 30 years before i think from 1988 to 1999 but now recently another company has done the same uh, contest a similar contest there is something called son conference which happens in new york every year where the leading fund managers and stock market experts come and speak and charges are really very high thousands of dollars and there's another company called heard on the street So in 2018 the herd on the street conducted a similar experiment and what they have done they invited all the speakers from the son conference to construct a portfolio and same way herd on the street they used their own employees to play the dart board to select the portfolio of monkey portfolio we can call it as so the results were as follows and look here son experts picked up these stocks and some of the experts have 
picked up Eras International. I'm sure they must be the big fan of Shah Rukh Khan. And heard on the street dartboard picks where these are the stocks. And the contest ran from April 23, 2018 to April 22, 2019, exactly for one year. But look at the results. During this one year, the average return of the son experts was minus 4.4%. But look, at this period, the S&P 500 index shot up 11%. which means they have underperformed by 15.5% compared to the S&P 500 index. Usually, the people who want to take a very low risk invest in indices. They have gained about 11%, but whereas the experts picked the stocks got only minus 4.4%. Same time what happened to the herd on the streets dot picks, that portfolio has given huge return of 17.3%. You should know 17.3% in US dollar terms is an excellent return. Whereas during the same period, S&P 500 index was up by 11%. Still, they outperformed the index by 6.2%. So, I've given you the facts, I've given you the contest, I've given you the contest results. Now it is for you to decide you want to follow technical analysis or not. But many people ask me, sir, what about you? Are you against technical analysis? You say we should not look at technical analysis? No, I'm not saying that. If you are looking for a girl for marriage, you look at many qualities what are the qualities you are expecting from a girl i'm sure you want the girl to be very pretty you want the girl to be well educated you want the girl to be from a cultured family and in addition to all these things you also look at horoscope but you don't marry any girl only by looking at the horoscope So, in trading, similarly, we have to look at many things and out of those many things, one must be a technical analysis. But what I see in the real battlefield, people are looking only at the technical analysis. They are not looking at anything else. So, to put it in simple words, technical analysis is part of the trading system, not the heart of the trading system. I hope I made my point very clear. Thank you for watching.